Hi and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm covering everything that you need to know to get up and running with the new Latin edition, Latin C. For those who don't know, Latin C comes from Patrick Burns. You can follow him on Twitter at DIY Classics. I highly encourage you to do so if you do anything with Latin or NLP or one of the other. Everything that he puts out is gold. Um, Latin C is essentially an entire language wrapper for the Latin library. I cannot emphasize enough how much of a heavy lift it is to do this. This is an incredible project that will save you hours of time to get working with Latin all in spacey natively. What does it do? Well, if you want to find out all the things that it does, how it was trained, how it works, you can read this preprint paper, Latin C, Synthetic Trained Pipelines for Latin NLP. I encourage you to take a look at it on your own time. I'm only going to be covering just really the basics for getting up and running with it. If you want me to go into more detail and talk about the paper more on this channel, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do so. Um, what you really need to know to get started are two things. One, everything sits on Hugging Face. For those who don't know, Hugging Face, a good way to think about it is a machine learning version of GitHub where you've got access to repositories, large data sets, large models. And for, uh, this is kind of the industry standard for hosting um, spacey models. Uh, Patrick has provided you with a LA Core Web SM, so a small model, a medium model, and a large model. This is the, the standard for introducing a new library to spacey. He also provides you with the floret embeddings and the uh, both the medium version and the large version. The small version doesn't have embeddings because the vectors aren't stored. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, floret embeddings are the spacey version of bloom embeddings, which allow for you to host really, really good vector uh, uh, language models essentially for a language while also keeping the size quite small. They do a lot of tricks to leverage things like subword embedding, but we're not going to get into all that in this video. Instead, we're going to get you up and running. So the very the very first thing that you need to do, and I'll provide a link to all this in the description down below, is you need to run pip install, and you need to install, in this case, the large model from Hugging Face. And this code right here uh, does let you go ahead and do that. I'm going to presume at the start of this video now that you've already done this step. You also probably want to make sure that you've got Spacey 3.5 installed. That's the more recent version. And then you can go ahead and run this code here. And we're going to go start right now in a Jupyter Notebook and begin doing that. So let's pop on over to uh, VS Code and go ahead and comment this out. This is just showing you how to go ahead and install the Hugging Face large model. Uh, if you want it to install the medium or the small model, you could replace this LG with ND or SM. So let's go ahead and import Spacey. And we're going to import uh, Displacey as well. This is going to help us visualize some of the data that we have in, um, in this uh, from this model. So from dis uh, Spacey, import Displacey. And for those who don't know, Displacey is a wrapper that allows for you to nice and vi nicely visualize data from a Spacey uh, doc container. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we have to load up our model. Now, the nice thing about all of this is that the model, once you've installed it, functions just like any other Spacey pipeline. It means, and you can follow along with this demo over here, it means you can go ahead and load everything up in just one line of code. In this case, NLP is equal to Spacey.load LA underscore core underscore web underscore LG. This tells us that it is the core Latin model and it is specifically the large model. If you've installed the medium, you would use MD here. If you've installed the small, you would use the SM. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you can follow along with Patrick's repository and copy and paste this right here. Uh, this is going to do two things. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to create a dot container for us by passing the model over it over this uh, over this simple Latin phrase right here. And the end goal is to be able to extract important linguistic data from that dot container. And the second line goes ahead and shows us the raw text, the normalized form, the limitized form, and the part of speech, or the POS. Now, we can do a lot more with this. This does a lot of different things out of the box for us. Most importantly for me, who studies a lot of social networks, it allows for us to very easily visualize the, the, uh, the actual entities. So we can print off doc.ints, but more importantly, we can actually examine them. So we can use displacy.render, and we can say doc, and we're going to pass in a specific style here, which is going to be the int style. And this allows us to visualize the entities identified from the pipeline. Uh, displacy helps if you spell everything correctly. 
and we can see that we've actually identified Perseo as person. So how would you use this in, and not necessarily in production, but how would you use it over a large text? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I've preloaded a, uh, a sample text from Livy from the Latin library. Let's go ahead and load it up and take a look and see how long it takes to run over that entire document. So we can say doc is equal to, actually let's go ahead and open the doc first. We can say with open, we're gonna open Livy.txt. We're gonna read it as f, and we're gonna say text is equal to f.read. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna pass the, the text into the spacey pipeline. So we can say doc is equal to NLP, and we can pass that text in. Now, if you don't know anything that I'm doing right now, I have a lot of videos on this channel that cover introduction to Spacey to get you up and running with these basics. Once we've got the document created, and we already do, we can visualize it. So displacey.render, we're gonna visualize the document again, and once again, we're gonna say style is equal to ENT and we can load it up. And you see that we're able to identify important things like location, uh, person, these are kind of standard things with a, an NER model, and even NORP, which stands for um, National or Religious Political Entities. These are gonna be things like groups of people, in this case, the Trojans, etc. on down the list. Now, as you go through and, and take a look at this, you might notice some mistakes. Keep in mind, this is a machine learning model. It is not going to be perfect. However, that, that doesn't really concern me. The, the big challenge here is getting a Latin pipeline working with Spacey that can be pulled into the Spacey project. Improving on these things like NER can be a, a task downstream. The heavy lift has been done for you. If you work with medieval Latin, uh, you might want to train your own model, but now you can do so in the standard way that you would do so with any other Spacey model. You can, you can pull the, the actual model, leverage its vectors, and train your own custom name and entity recognizer, or your own span categorizer, or your own text model, text classification model. You can now do all of this very easily with just a few lines of code and maybe a relatively small amount of training data, all thanks to Patrick and Latin C. Hopefully that, that introduces the library well for you and lets you kind of get started with it. Uh, let me know in the comments how you're using this in your own projects. I'd be very interested to hear it. Thank you again, and thanks to all the Patreon supporters on this channel. If you get a lot out of this channel, please do consider supporting it either via Patreon or via YouTube membership, both of which are linked down below. Thank you.